Welcome to the Men of Integrity, men that rescue men and women, and we are delighted that you have joined us once again for a journey through the Word of God. It is my desire that you receive every miracle and every promise that has been spoken over your life, your children's life, and your family life. It is time to walk in the fulfillment of God's Word. You can no longer look for Him among the dead, but you have to now look for Him among the living. He is alive and he is well and he is moving in the midst of his people. So call a neighbor, call a friend and tell them that the Men of Integrity is on the air. Have with me this afternoon, Apostle J. Edward Fisher, pastor of Saints Center and Coppers Cove and Colleen. Oh yeah. Well, you know what? A great time of season that we're in, Bishop, too. This is um, Resurrection, Passion Week, they call it, Resurrection at the End. And so I trust that you'll be going to some assembly, some Christian assembly where they're talking about Jesus on this week. So make sure that you do that. Um, get those clothes out. You know, like my mother used to say uh, the night before um, Sunday, she said, polish them shoes, get them clothes out because I'm not ironing on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that this is your season. I believe it's your time. I believe that God's ready to do what he has promised to do in your life. You have been next for a long time, but now it's your turn. Mm -hmm. It's your turn to experience the power and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Before we jump into this word, we want to appeal to you again to partner with the KPLE television station. It's always a good place to sow seeds of faith for the furtherance of the gospel. We're trying to amplify the voice of God. And as I always say, there are many voices that are talking, but the voice of our Savior, the voice of our King, the voice of our God should be louder than any other voice in the universe. You can help us amplify His voice by being a part of the KPLE team. So sow that seed of faith tonight. The address is on the screen. Pick up the phone and call us. We'll be more than happy to tell you how to make that electronic donation. Thank you so very much. The Word of God is found, Apostle, in Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 28. Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, and neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. In verse 29, he says, he giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases their strength. Hmm. We serve an excellent God. <laughs> We serve an almighty Thank God, God. Yeah. and we serve a loving, caring, forgiving God. Mm -hmm. What do you want to say about this God we serve? Well, you know, watch this here. Uh, the writer made sure he, we understood the God he was talking about. He yes. said the creator. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. And he said there is, no un, there is no searching of his understanding. He sees everything from beginning to end. He knows the beginning uh, are the end from the beginning. Yes. I mean, he just knows everything. Nothing surprises him. And I'm glad to be um, serving and in relationship with this God who is my father. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. <laughs> you know, it's exciting to talk about God mm -hmm. because we're living in a generation now where they don't want this God. Come on now. They don't want this God to be a part of their life. Mm. They have been bamboozled and beguiled and deceived to believe that this God is 
anything other than good. Mm -hmm. But I come to tell you that he's a good God. Good God. Amen. Yeah, the old yeah. folks used to say, what do you know about Jesus? Uh -huh. he's and they all used right. to say, he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even yeah. Pilate said it. Uh -huh. After they brought him to Judgment Hall, mm -hmm. Pilate says, listen, I find no fault mm -hmm. in him. Mm -hmm. I want to know how you see Jesus tonight. I want to know how he is moving and operating in your life. Because the writer says, have you not known? Mm. See, do you know for yourself how good God is? That's do right. you know for yourself how much he loves you and cares for you and how willing and ready he is to do something about the chaos and confusion, the hurt and the pain and disappointment, the lack, glory to God, that is in your life. He is ready to turn that situation around, but you have to know who he is. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I was just reading this morning in 1 Peter 2 that it says that, he that believe it on him, we're talking about Jesus. Yes. He says, shall not be confounded. No, no confusion. No. No confusion whatsoever. It clears everything up. Praise the name of the Lord. Hmm. Jesus said, uh, telling Pilate, Pilate anyway, he said, he said, he said, uh, my kingdom is of the truth. Yes. Pilate said, what is the truth? But Pilate didn't know he was looking at the truth. The truth is a person. Yes. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You know, when we look at this text, he says, have thou not known? He's mm -hmm. asking you a question. And the question is based on the condition that the writer saw man. Mm. And Isaiah begins to prophesy about this great salvation mm -hmm. that comes with the God of the creator, the God of the universe, mm -hmm. the all-powerful God. He is a God that is everlasting. He says, listen, there is no end to this God. Mm -hmm. Nobody will ever defeat this God. <laughs> okay? There will not be another God after him mm -hmm. because he is God and mm -hmm. beside him there yeah, is no other. Him. He says, have you gotten the news? I'm getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> he says, have you gotten the news about who this God is, mm -hmm. what this God is capable of doing? Mm -hmm. He says, have you not heard? Mm -hmm. Have you not known? Okay. Then he says, he fainted not. Mm -hmm. And neither is he weary. Mm -hmm. What Isaiah was saying is that God is not upset with you. Okay? God has not come to the point where he is so frustrated and aggravated with you that he doesn't want anything to do with you. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. The Bible said, whosoever will, let him come. Let him come. Glory to God. He says that if you come, you can come and drink freely mm -hmm. okay, of the waters of life. All right. You know? He says, listen. Uh, whosoever knock on the door, I open it, mm -hmm. you know? So, so God is not upset with you to the point that he has cast you aside and, and he has doomed you. No, he is calling you. He mm -hmm. is asking you to come, let us reason together. That's yeah. what Isaiah said. Yeah, and Jesus said, he said, come uh, uh, um, uh, and find rest for your soul. Some of you are restless out there. Yeah. Some of you are, are weary and... And uh, some of you are tired and some of you are trying to want to give up and you think life has just passed you by. No, no, no. You haven't met the Savior yet. Yes. You haven't met this God we're talking about today. Praise the yes. name of Lord. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden and take my yoke upon. He said, he said my yoke is easy. Yes. And my burden is light, and you shall find rest for your soul. And and, we, and we're looking at a lot of restless people today. They're yes. confused. Uh, they don't know their identity. They don't know how much they love. They don't know what this God has already done. He gave His only begotten Son. Yes. I mean, uh, 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 and then His Son died for us. Somebody died for you. Yes. Jesus said, "No greater love than this." that a man laid down his life for his friend. He's calling you friend, and you calling yourself something else, but he's calling you friend. So friend, come, come, yes. come to him. Yes. <laughs> you know, he said in that passage that you quoted, he says, and learn mm -hmm. of me. There you go. See, people can't figure out and understand how a God can love them in spite of their negative behavior. Mm-hmm 
how a God could love them in spite their continuous rejection to his word. People are mind boggled at the fact that how this God will forgive you over and over and over again when even your blood family has given up on you. Mm -hmm. When folks have walked out of your life and says, I'm tired of you, I don't want nothing else to do with you, this, that, and the other. This God that you need to learn about, Come on now. he is not weary with you. Mm -hmm. He is not fainting in his mind concerning you. He says, for he so loved you that while so, you so, was so, a so. sinner, he died for you. It, isn't that awesome? Isn't, isn't, that, isn't that fabulous? Glory to God. And he says that, I just have a question for you. He says that I'm not wrestling with you. I'm not fighting with you. He says, but I just want to know if you have come to the place where you want to be made whole? Mm. <laughs> have you come to the place where you want to be free? Uh -huh. Have you come to the place where you want your joy, your peace, and your righteousness back in the Holy Ghost? Yeah. He says, the question that I want to know is, do you want it? Because mm -hmm. I'm not tired of you. Yeah. Go to God. I just want to know if you want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, and he's saying the place to come is, is, is right here, come to me, come yes. to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Uh, I'm standing there already. This is not the end. This will be the beginning of an, a new life, a, a glorious life, a powerful life, yes. a victorious life, a life more abundantly. It's just waiting for you. You haven't begun to live until you met the Savior. You haven't mm. begun to live until you know about the Savior. Yes. And, 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 and when you know about him, you're going to know that he's good. The Bible says, oh, taste and see. Yes that the Lord is good, and he good. is good, too. Yes. It, it, Apostle, we have to come to the place where we unlearn mm. some learned behaviors <laughs> because we have a mentality that when we mess up, mm -hmm. that's just it. Mm -hmm. We have learned through rejection of man that once somebody uh, gets through with us and tired of us, that there is no return. But see, God never said he was tired of you. Mm -hmm. God never said that he didn't want you. Mm -hmm. God never said that he didn't love you. He just said he don't like the things you do. But he says that I can change that. Mm -hmm. He says, I can change your behavior if you want your behavior changed. All right. All he right. says, I can turn your whole thinking pattern around mm -hmm. if you allow me to. Mm -hmm. So look what he says. People are saying, Apostle, I'm tired. I'm frustrated. I don't know what to do. And Isaiah 40 and 29, he says, he give power to the faint. Mm. And to them that have no might, he increases their strength. He says that if you ask me, I will give you strength mm -hmm. to get up. Yeah. I will give you strength to walk out. I will give you strength, glory to God, and power to return back to the cross, back to the place of joy, peace, and righteousness in the Holy Ghost. God says, listen, I know the thoughts that I have towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil to bring unto you an expected mm -hmm. end, mm -hmm. but you got to learn who I am, what I do, and what I want to do for your life. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? That next verse, verse 30, say, even the youth, and yes. I definitely want to speak Talk to the teen, yes. the youth. Uh, uh, Jesus is calling you too. Yes. He knows what you're going through, the peer pressure you're going through, the problems in school, and then sometimes nobody knows what you're going through, but he does. Yes. And so he said, even the youth, even the youth are out there fainting. Even the youth are out there getting weary. He said, but he said, I haven't forgot about you too. He said, I'm looking at you and I'll give, I'll give strength to you. You think you, you think because you're young. Why? Well, he said, but I'll give you a strength that will uh, uh, ascend better than your youth. And, yeah. and, and uh, you can stand to, you can, I, I, I know what you're going through. Yeah. I know what you're going mm. through. You know, mm. Parents, we have to come to understand the Word of God. And as parents, we have to be the Word of God made flesh. Mm -hmm. We have to be able to walk in the divine power of the Holy Spirit. All right. To be able to teach our children the power of God. 
to be able to teach our children that though they stumble and make bad choices, mm -hmm. that there is a God that will give them restoration. There is a God that will restore them back to the place where they do have joy, peace, and righteousness in the Holy Ghost. And so, Apostle, when you look at verse 30, you got to go ahead and connect verse 31 with that. <laughs> Glory to God. So I'm, I'm going to let you go ahead and connect verse 31 with, with, with verse 30. Yeah, it says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall, not a might, brother, yes. not a might, they shall renew their strength. Um, they shall mount up with wings as a as an eagle. Now yes. that's the that's the grand bird. Mm -hmm. Watch this here. And he said, God says He's going to give you wings that will fly over your problem. Yes. Watch this here. Yes. And so um, uh, all you got to do is wait on the Lord, though. Yes. And when we say wait, we're not saying just sitting there being passive, Bishop. Mm -hmm. We're saying minister to Him, yes. praise Him, yes. serve Him, yes. and watch this here. And that strength will come. Yes. And, and and we used to sing a song, say, we don't know how we got over, something like yes. that. You yes. remember that? Yes. But when we look around, we got over. Yeah, because <laughs> my soul looked back and wondered yeah, there you go. how I got over. <laughs> you know, how can a young man cleanse his way? Mm-hmm except he heed to the Word That's of God. Right. That's right. We're at a place in time in our generation, sir, where we have to return back to our Creator. Mm -hmm. We have to return back, glory to God, to the God that cares, the God the that God. loves. We have to turn back to the God. See, the writer says, have you not known, have you not heard? Mm -hmm. See, God is a healer, but He's a healer to those that desire to be healed. Not only can he heal you from your physical ailments, but he can heal you from your psychological dysfunction. That's right. He can heal you from your uncontrollable emotions. You know, he can heal you from your broken heart. He can heal you from the wounds that have penetrated your life so deep that has made you make other choices mm -hmm. and you have found yourself deep and deep. dug into a life of darkness, God said that he would deliver you if you cry out, if you call out. He says, if you call upon the name of the Lord, he will save you, he will answer you. And so we're saying to you, I don't know if you've heard and I don't know if you've known, mm -hmm. but the God that they call Jesus, the Jehovah Yahweh of the Old Testament, he is willing and ready to turn your whole life around. The question is, are you ready and willing to be made whole? Yeah, and, and here is the, here's the renewness and the revival and the restoration uh, on that same scripture. He says, and, and it says, it says, day shall run and not be weary. Yes, sir. And they shall walk and not faint. Yes. I mean, God can turn this thing around in your life. You, yes. you, you're, not, you're, not, you're not in hopeless de despair, but God is standing there and he says, now you're ready for me and I'll show you what I can do. I can bring, he said, I not only can bring you out of your situation, but I can bring you into my marvelous life. Lord yeah, have mercy. My God, we serve a God. <laughs> we, we, we serve a real God. We serve a mighty God. Mm -hmm. And you cannot be confused by people that portray to know God, mm. people that pretend to know God. And so you look at them and you say, well, if they're Christians and, and they're going through all of this, that, and the other, then, then it's not going to help me any. No, baby, you're looking at the wrong thing. You got to go after the promise mm -hmm. that God has spoken concerning your life. What God has said about you has nothing to do with anybody else. What God has said about your family has nothing to do with the next person's family. You have to get before God and you have to say to God, I'm expecting what has been spoken in the word of God mm, all right. concerning my life. You have to hold God to his word because God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. Whatever God has said, he is able, Apostle, to bring it to pass. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm saying to you, mm -hmm. I'm prophesying to you that God will not let you down. Mm -hmm. God will not fail you. But it requires something. 
It requires you to develop a faith and a trust in God that God then will show you the miraculous miracles and powers of God. He said to Mary and Martha, he says, did not I tell you if thou would believe, you would see the glory of God. Mm -hmm. I echo that back to you tonight, man of God, woman of God. You don't have to be weary. You don't have to be worn. You don't have to give up. If you believe tonight, you're going to see the glory of God. Yeah, and God in his word, Bishop, has left his record on how he can deliver from the uttermost. Yes. I mean, I'm thinking about the three Hebrew boys. Yes. Now, come on now. Yes. God put that in there. He said, I can deliver you from that which it seems impossible. A yes. man has never been delivered from, but I can do it. Yes. And 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 the Hebrew boy said, and he's able to. Oh, yes. And and yes, and uh, yes, he yes. did too. He <laughs> delivered them. I'm, come on now, come on now. When you put fire, I don't know that anybody can be delivered from fire by themselves. But God can. God can deal. He says, nothing is too hard for me. Nothing. No, you got to get that word inside <laughs> of you. Nothing is too hard for God. So when you are faced with anything, remember what God said. Nothing is too hard for God. Hey, you know, it's, it's, it's great because, hey amen, we're talking from the 40th chapter of Isaiah. <laughs> but when you go to the 43rd chapter of Isaiah uh -huh. and verse number two, All right. he says, when thou pass it through the waters, <laughs> I will be with thee. All right. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. Mm -hmm. And when thou walkest through the fire, mm -hmm. go to God, mm -hmm. it shall not burn thee. God mm -hmm. is with you, but you got to know him. You got to know his spirit. Mm -hmm. You got to know his word. You got to know his presence. Mm -hmm. And you have to invite God into invite your situation. Him in. Invite him can in. he change it? Can he do something about it? Oh, yeah. He can. Watch this here. Again, he says that word. Nothing is too hard for me. You don't have a problem with God. The only problem is you, is whether you're going to trust him. Yes. But God, no, and watch this here. And, and that doesn't even surprise God what you're going through. Yes. He knew what you were going to go through before you went through it. <laughs> and he still stands there poised and watch this here. And if he couldn't do it, probably he would have probably stopped you from going through. But God can do anything, Bishop. Anything. He could do anything. But fail. Anything. <laughs> That's a song. Anything. But fail. You know, when you look at Mark 11 and 24, Mark says, Therefore I tell you, mm -hmm. whatsoever you ask in prayer, mm -hmm. believing, Please. you shall receive. receive it. See, have you not known? Mm -hmm. Have you not heard? that the God of the universe, the God that we call Jesus, he is a prayer answering God. He says in Jeremiah 33, call upon me and I will answer you and I will show you things that you did not know. You have to stop suffering in vain. You have to stop thinking that the enemy is so powerful over you until you just stuck right here and mm. that there is no hope for you. I come to tell you and the apostle come to tell you that that's a lie. Mm -hmm. God can pull you out. God can empower you to walk out. That's right. And when you walk out, God says, now that you are liberated, I'll begin now to establish and build your life mm -hmm. through the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. And, 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 and when you walk out of it, and into God, you walk in victory. Yes. You, you, watch this. Yes. You, we're not looking for victory. We got it through God. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And so we just gonna we just gonna take our victory in Him. That's that's the life He wants to bring you into. It doesn't make any difference what this world throws at you, a Bishop. Yes. When you in the Lord. You in victory, and you can overcome mm -hmm. anything and everything. And he says that all things work together for the good. I don't care if it starts bad, but when you're in God, it'll end up good. Now, you can't beat that, Bishop. You can't beat that. But, you know, <laughs> that's only that's, to mm -hmm. a particular group of people. Mm -hmm. And here are those people in Mark 9 and 23. Mm. Jesus echoes this. And he says, if you can, if you can believe, mm -hmm. all things are possible to him who believes. Mm -hmm. See, if you can believe mm -hmm. that your life could be better, if you can believe 
God can heal you. Mm -hmm. If you can believe that God can restore your children, he can restore your relationships, he can do all that's in the word of God. If you can believe it, God says, is possible. Mm -hmm. How do I get to that faith, Apostle? How do I get to that mindset? I've been this way for so long. I've been fighting this battle for so long. How do I get to that place of belief? Well, you know what? You have to surrender. Surrender to God and believe in Jesus. And it says, whatsoever is born of God. Yes. Overcome it the world. And then once you're born of God and you come into, he'll give you his faith. It says, watch this here. He said he'll give you the measure of faith. Yes. So you can start operating. But then, watch, it doesn't end there, Bishop. Yes. Doesn't end there, Bishop. Then he says, he says to them that will believe, repent and believe, he said, I'll give you the Holy Ghost. Yes. And remember, Jesus said, and ye shall receive power. Yes, sir. After that, the Holy Ghost. And that's just a, that's just a doorway to the Holy Ghost land, yes. doorway to the miraculous. Mm. So, man, there's so many beginnings. I don't even know, know that you get to the <laughs> end, Bishop. <laughs> everything, everything is, every step is just great and gracious and, and just exciting. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, these things are powerful and mm. they are true. Mm -hmm. You need to go back to church. Mm. You need to go back and get up under the pastor. And if you don't have a church, you don't have a pastor, you got to find one that operates in power and demonstration of the Holy Ghost. All right, all right. You have to find one that's going to challenge your faith, that's going to challenge you to do more than you have ever done before. But they're going to challenge you to do it according to the Word of God. All right, now. You All can't right. do it the way you want to do mm -hmm. it. God has a standard. God has a way. The Bible said there is a way, and the way shall be called holiness. <laughs> and no one clean thing Love it. can walk therein. Love it's it. time to return back to Pentecost. Mm -hmm. This is the week of passion. This mm -hmm. is the week of deliverance mm -hmm. and restoration. Will you allow it just to be another holiday? Mm -hmm. Would you allow it just to be another celebration without you really experiencing the power of God? You got about 30 seconds. Well, you know, this season here, this is the season to make uh, uh, a, a decision. And I'm talking about a decision that will carry you in, into eternity, Bishop. You understand? It's not just a just a holiday that we come and we go. No, you need to you need to not let this holiday just be another holiday, but be a decision for the risen Lord. God loves you. God cares about you. Mm -hmm. God is ready to take it away from you and to give you something better. That's right. But you have to return back to the place of learning. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Mm that the God we serve, he neither faints, neither slumber, nor sleep. He has the ability and the power to restore you back to the place of joy, peace, and righteousness in the Holy Ghost. But God is continuing to ask you the question, mm -hmm. will you be made whole mm. this week? We're praying for your miracle. Don't forget to sow the seed of faith. Blessings to you in Jesus' name. Out of your bed, out of your, out of your, share